Okay then everybody, welcome back to more Elden Ring, and we are going to go out on a little bit of an adventure. We're going to go and deal with a world mini boss just over this way. There is something optional over this way. Look, we have two sets of graves, but I'm going to leave those for right now. I'll probably collect those, maybe like an intermission or something, just because um, I'm kind of not going to be going over these anytime soon. Instead, we're going to go through here and um, basically pass on to the east. I don't want to spend too much time labouring on it because I don't want this video to be any longer than it has to be. Um, and with me trying to stick to the 20 minute time interval, which so far I've been surprisingly successful at, um, we are just going to continue doing that. We have another motion just here. This guy actually gives us the recipe for poison arrows. And so with that, and the short bow, you now actually have everything that you need to get the um, Knight's Cavalry killed over this way. So we might even do that. Maybe we'll go ahead and we'll cheese it. If I can do everything I want to do in this video. We're going to finish this guy off. Oh, I uh, gave him a chance. Oh, and he's got laser eyes. Oh, no. I'm going to die. I did not realize he had the laser eyes. Oh, this is what I was saying before about some of them can be very dangerous. I did not realize he had that. I was hoping to be able to uh, knock him out of his spells, but we couldn't. In any case, that's him done, and we can continue on our merry way. Let's just keep an eye on the left-hand side here. Um, on my first playthrough when I was streaming, um, an NPC called D appeared here. And I Excuse me. Look at how fragile my uh, melee hits are. Oh man, we're we're gonna die. Okay, let's 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 leave this situation right now before uh, we have an accident. <laughs> there was a grace pretty much right next to us, and I do not want to die when we're so close. Where are we? Okay, let's just grab this. Look, let's reset these. Uh, skeletons and make it daytime just because that makes me feel better are they following i don't even know if they are it's not gonna matter now anyway um let's make it morning please there we go that's good um so yes on my first playthrough when i was live streaming on this side we found um, an NPC called D, but since then I've not been able to successfully make him appear. And I don't know if it's because I've always ended up um, cheat, well not cheating, but making the roundtable hold appear um, much earlier than usual. Um, it doesn't really affect the quest line at all, or his quest line, but um, I just thought I'd point that out there. Don't know what that is on the ground? Oh, this is where he normally is. Look, haha. <laughs> Standing over the guy, and he warns you not to go and fight this uh, Tibia Mariner down here, but we're going to anyway. Um, I could have upgraded my wolves, which may well have been a favorable idea, but I haven't, so I'm going to leave it for now. Note that if you end up struggling with this, well, let's say I die real rad right now, it feels too hard, we don't really need to. Our main mission really is to get a new staff in this episode. Let's just tickle you off. Whoops, where have you gone? There you go over this way, don't you? Um, the main uh, difficulty here is that it will summon a load of skeletons, as you can see here, um, and so you'll need an answer for them, such as this. Um, the problem is, look, when they're down, you see this white cloud. That means that they are looking to get back up, so we're just going to Hit them while they're down, and then now they won't keep on getting back up on us, which is going to be quite useful. I don't know where the wolves are. What are you doing? Yeah, you keep coming over here. That's real good, actually. All the way away from your friends, and towards mine, hopefully. Oh, they're fighting other skeletons. That's what's happening, look. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh, no, he's got a friend now. No, get off. Right, let's 
Oh man, about to get cornered. Let's not get cornered. That'll be bad. Wolves took one down. Good. Uh, he does hurt his own guys, that, so that's kind of nice of you, isn't it? Let's take you down. Look. Why did I change weapon? Eh? That's real weird. Ouch. Good wolves. They're doing pretty good, actually. The, the wolves are, are actually a fairly um, competent summon, I have to say. I do quite like them a lot of the time. I have to really work hard here to not get hit by this thing. It's a real pain in the ass. Luckily, the wolves are doing good ja good damage to the to the actual mariner, though. Oh, there's so many more guys now, look. Right, let's get you down. We're so close as well, come on. I mean, the wolves can probably almost finish this right now if they were to focus on him, but they won't do that. Well, one of them is, that's pretty good. Go on, Wolfie, you're doing a great job there. Boom. Now, don't relax too much. There are still um, skeletons around here that um, aren't necessarily part of the boss fight. So don't run around as if there's now no danger around here. Just be aware of that. Grab some loot. I think there's a skeleton. Yeah, I was going to say a skeleton here. We ain't bothered about fighting that thing. Um, there should be something else over this way. I can't remember what it is. And then we can pick up the talisman. There's a rather strong talisman around here called the Turtle Talisman, which increases stamina regeneration, which is extremely useful, as I'm sure you guys can imagine. And being as we have nothing else of use right now, it's actually a good idea for us to pick it up. The good thing is, um, it requires a uh, stone sort of key for us to get in there, and we picked one up earlier on. So. If you are just joining us, go back to... Let me just bring it up on the map here. I don't want to spend too much time on the map, but if you go back to Stormhill Shack here, there should be one on a little platform, and that'll open this door up for us. Where is it? We should see... There we go. The thing to look for is the turtle. And then we can just head on in and grab the talisman. This is... Going straight on, it's going to be mega useful. Hopefully it doesn't take me over my weight and then I have to take like my hood off or something. That'll be, uh, <laughs> that'll be unfortunate for me right now. There we go, bam, let's go straight on. Thank you very much. Oh, and it does. <laughs> well, I said, we ain't, we're staying on, we're staying on light load. And I'm going to choose the stamina over the hood. <laughs> I don't know if that's worth it or not, but this is funny. Um... Okay, so next then, there's kind of a bit of a decision you can make. We can skirt around this church, and I think we're going to choose to do so. Um, so, you can see on the map, look, we have a little building just here. And that building, if we go to it, has a grace, but it also um, will cause an NPC invader to appear, which is fairly tough for us right now. And I haven't even rested at a grace. So it worked out when I did this with my how-to character that if we just stay along this right-hand side here, we can just pass on over. And you can see this little wind tunnel here. Um, if you've looked at um, where my thing was before, you can see if you just kind of follow this down one, follow it down, you'll be able to get across to the to the graves there for some more runage. But I'm going to do that without you guys watching just so that um, you don't have to see me do that. I mean, realistically, I'll probably leave them because I am leaving it for you guys to just kind of level autonomously. But I may use them to just, like, pick up spells or something so I don't have to farm them up later. So they've got a, a complete collection. And there we are. We're pretty safe now. Um, the thing is, if that um, invader comes in, a barrier will be put around you so that you can't just run away. Um, which is why we kind of wanted to avoid that. And we're not going to go too close. You can see there's a bit of loot there. And there's a couple of um, cookbooks actually in the church as well, so... Quite a bit of stuff. We'll probably pick up easy loot along the way. There are some tough enemies here, and realistically speaking, I don't really clear this area for a long time. Um, I find this area really strange. I generally come in here to do something specific, such as this cave right here. This is where the moon veil is, so if you want a really good um, 
int based katana there's one there there's actually two the second one isn't really all that far away either it's just here there's like a red um, swamp that you can see just here and right here is a um is another kind of locked door that's not actually where you want to go I'm, th I'm thinking about something else it's actually over here and over here you'll find the uh, meteorite or meteoric ore blade and that's another int scaling katana so you can do the whole magic ninja thing which is kind of cool However, we aren't bothered about that. We're going to go ahead and move along this road here. Quite far. We've got a long way to go and there are some dangerous enemies along the way. So make sure you've rested um, and spent any runes that you have. I get two points. That's very nice. Uh, I'm going to go with one in intelligence, one in mind again because I'm, you know, I'm happy about... <laughs> I'm happy about being vulnerable. <laughs> I'm not really. Right, let's just go along this road. Um, you'll see kind of um, a load of zombie stuff along the road. Don't bother fighting them. Wherever you see these enemies, they are never worth fighting. They do not drop anywhere near enough runes for the trouble they are to kill. Um, and they have a grab move, which is just really mega dangerous and will probably one-shot me. In fact, all of the enemies around here are probably going to one-shot me. Um, but I am still going to try to pick everything up, even though I probably shouldn't. Let's switch weapon here. I want to get this. Ash of War. Oops, no, no. It's because I'm used to pressing L1 to cast. Alright, so we managed the Whirl of Flame. Did you aggro, or did you just notice that something died? Alright, so now we're going to try and nip around. This carriage contains... It, what is, in my opinion, the best strength weapon in the game. And actually, you know what? Just to be cheeky, I'm going to rest that grace there so that we don't get too large of a setback if I do happen to die. feeling tense now. I don't want to die. <laughs> already aggroed. They've already aggroed. Oh no. Quick. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Yes. Right. Flee. Oh my god. It's caught up already. <laughs> it knocked me over. How did it knock me over? I didn't die. That's ridiculous. Right. Go. 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 Oh my god. Go. 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 To the grace. To the grace. To the grace. Reset it. <laughs> if it so much as breathes on me, I'm gone. Here we go. Bam. Did it. We did it. Um, if you're playing as a mage, you don't need that weapon at all. Um, the stat requirements on it are going to look rather obscene. 31 strength is required. Um, but it does do a lot of damage, and it stuns enemies like a badass. So, real cool for that. There is more loot here. Uh, but we're going to avoid most of it. Because we kind of just want to pass through the ruin right now. And um, the boss here is a double onion fight. And I don't think my wolves are up to carrying me through that right now. I want a different summon before we start doing that stuff anyway. Um, there's a summon called Lutl, which I really, really like. We could get um, Engval, but no, Lutl is definitely the best um, early game summon, and I definitely want to have that before we start going too far on our adventures. That summon can carry us through pretty much most of the early game, so um, we definitely want to make sure that we've got that and we've got it upgraded. Uh, so obviously we're at the next grace now. Things are starting to come along, and we're going to follow this road all the way down because um, it basically leads us to the next map fragment. Now, there are two dangers here. These can shoot us with a load of spine things that come out of their backs, and right kind of down on the corner of the road is a dragon. So we don't want to actually be on the road, but we do want to follow the road. This is going to make things a little easier for us. I wonder if we can see the road I need to go to on the way down. Can we jump off? Never tried to come from this direction. Last time I came from a different direction, but... Yeah, we don't want them because they'll cast poison. We want that item there. That is the staff. And we need to get into those steps just above my head. I think that is the spell. Once we have those two things, um, the game is going to be significantly easier. So you know what? We might as well get those on the way down because we can see them. We have another merchant right here but we're going to leave that for now we'll come back for him once we've got our new goodies I like goodies so we're just gonna pass on around they're all gonna aggro 
Um, we don't really care about fighting any of this. Um, and the funny thing is, once we've got this loot, we never need to come back here again. I think there's actually a perfumer's thing around here somewhere as well. So we're going to come around. I'm sure we can collect this from here. I've collected it from this side before. Come on. Let me have it. Right. Let me. There we go. Meteorite staff. I was right. I got it right. It was the staff. I know where the two things are. Yeah, you don't want to go in there. Looks full of plants. Uh, those will poison you. In fact, I think they actually cause rot, which is basically fast poison. So you don't want to deal with those at all. Uh, next up, then we can summon wolves here now. Okay. They're, they're, they seem to be adding like extra areas where we can summon to the game. Every time we go to a place, I'm like, ah, we can summon here now. <laughs> Just because we can summon everywhere, that'd be great. I'd love that. Um, I know there's a mod for that, but I can't use that when I'm doing. Uh, doing a series like this. Where is... Where was it? There it is. Haha. -ha. You can see with the door. I'll bring the map up once we're down there because... Um... Whoa, 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 whoa. Please don't die now. That'd be bad. No, don't poison me. There'll be no poisoning of me today. Let's just run down here. And I'll do the quit out trick so I can show you guys exactly where we are on the map because that was a bit messy. Cool, just so you guys can see exactly where we are. And in terms of where the grace was, look, if you kind of just head literally almost directly um, southeast, you'll be able to very shortly pit, put yourself a little marker in here if you need to. This is going to be the Rock Sling spell. And I'm going to demonstrate why what we've just done here is going to uh, basically trivialize a lot of the game right now. Let's get out of here. I don't need this. I suppose we get this. This is the perfume bottle I was thinking about. Haha. <laughs> I knew there was something. I think that's quite light set as well. We could actually get some use out of that. I can't believe how little my health pool is. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> you really shouldn't run around as little health as I have right now. Uh, so, we are going to attune our... Uh, where are we? Memorize our spell. I call it attune because... That's what it used to be called. This is how we equip our skills. Pearls. I think I've said that's how we do it before, but just in case I haven't. And then we're going to go ahead and equip this and hope that this isn't heavy. It is. <laughs> rules are rules. I've got to stay light. <laughs> oh no. I don't know if that's worth it. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go up and get this merchant. Now he's going to be the guinea pig for how much difference the damage is. So my next couple of points have got to be an endurance. That's unfortunate for me. So we've got a new merchant. There's actually quite a few merchants around here. We can deal with quite a lot of them. Um, and we might as well get the fragment, uh, the map fragment while we're down this way. So we can get poison darts from you. You're mostly just kind of consumable stuff, aren't you? There's almost no reason to kill you, but there's no reason to leave you alive either. Yes. He's going to have laser beams like the last guy, so we need to make sure we are in a favorable position. Oh, it missed because he got on his horse. Bam. How much different is that to the last time we had trouble with these guys? Let's make a heal though quickly. He's lost his donkey, which is good for me. Let's go straight for it again. So you can see it has a lot of knockdown and does a lot of good damage. Um, the tracking isn't being very ideal here. He's a real pain in the ass when he's on that donkey. This whole running around in circles going off. Ugh. Honestly. Wish I hadn't. I should have just stuck to poking you with the rapier. Right, I'm going to reset this. Give me a second. We're going to go for the stealth attack. Let's see if it works. If I don't get it, I'm going to... Oh, I'm probably just going to leave this now. I, I can't believe they get iframes there. That's ridiculous. Oh, man. You're not even worth it either. That's the worst thing. You have, like, nothing I want. Okay, I'm going to leave this guy. There's no point in me spending like five minutes. I'm going to come back and get him later. Sorry about that. You guys can kill him. But he, he's only selling Cambridge Tomb Balls. There's no really important items there. So we've got 30 seconds. Can I make it to the map fragment in 30 seconds? Because I really don't want to spend another video here. Um, and I don't really want to go over 20 minutes. Maybe I'll give myself an extra minute just for the map fragment. But we're just going to head our way down here. Uh, you can see all the plants. We're not really bothered about that. We're not going to stay close to any of them anyway. It's just not going to be an issue. We're going to curve all the way around. 
curve all the way around. Make sure it's daytime as well because the Knight's Cavalry, which I've mentioned many times, can also spawn around here and you don't want to be messing with this one. Um, especially in an open field right now because that's going to be uh, going to be painful. So we should be able to see the dragon here, yeah, just up the road. And here we'll have Matt Pregnant. We have another another uh, Nomad guy right in here as well. We should also probably kill. But I'm going to wait until we can deal with them a little bit more effectively because um, they're just kind of getting on my nerves right now. I need a bit more... Probably survivability is probably the thing right now. But there we are. So we've got the map fragment. Um, we could go and get... You know what? Yeah, let's do it. It's worth, it's worth it. It's worth the extra minute. We're going to get a golden seed um, before we leave Caled alone. We've got all the map fragments now, which is nice. We can see, us, see our way around. Um, we're just going to head down here. Oh, yeah, we don't care about the bird. Yep, yep, yep. Just leave me alone. We get this golden seed. We could also get the, uh, there's another bow talisman down there. And you know what? Just because it's, it's literally right there. So that there is, um, oh, what's it called? I can't remember the name. Not Castle Sol. I think it's just called Castle Caleb now that I think about it. I mean, I'm thinking too complicated about this. Uh, basically, that's where Radon is going to be, which is um, kind of like a midway point, in my opinion. That's where, kind of, when you defeat him, more areas become available. So um, that's kind of how I view that that area. So I like to try and get as much stun as we can before we go there, because that's where new stuff becomes available. It makes sense in my head, and that's probably how we're going to handle it. So there we are. We have been a fair old distance. Can I get a new flask? That would be nice. Nope. We've grabbed a few cheeky items from Kaled and we've um, uncovered a large portion of the map. There are a few things that you could do if you want. There is a place called Celia Town right here. I have a walkthrough for this area. We we're probably a bit low level for it, but there is some very nice loot for casters here, including some night spells, um, which is just going to be going to be pretty good. In addition, um, to the east of this grace, there is a place called the Abandoned Cave. It's a very nasty cave. It's going to cause rot on you and cause a lot of damage over time. But in that cave is the Golden Scarab, which means, uh, which will give you plus twenty percent. Um, rune gain as you kill enemies, so that's just real strong as well. Just a couple of the bits and bobs you could be going to get. But for now, <clears throat> I think the ideal thing for us to do is to start clearing some more of the dungeons. So we'll probably pick up at a new grace. I will make sure I start off on the map so you guys can see where we're going to pick up from. And I'll uh, see you all again soon.